one day in your life you're going to wake up and you're just going to realize that the entire time that you've been sentient, let's say you know, 16 to 16 to 20 years old, let's say from then on you're going to feel like you you're just going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, what have I been doing with my life? I went to school. I Maybe I got a degree. And, and then you've started working with said degree. Uh, and you're just going to, you're going to feel like life is passing you by and maybe you're not doing what you want to do. Maybe you have a passion for something else. For instance, video games or content creating or you know drawing or you have a passion for racing cars or you know driving like driving boats maybe you have a some sort of passion like that but this whole time you've been literally working just to collect a paycheck so that you can function and a lot of the times or at least a lot of us you know we're, we're working for a paycheck to barely scrape by so that we could just make ends meet here and just continue, you know, eating, having a roof over our head, maybe taking care of a wife or a husband and kids. Uh, and all this time, you've been doing maybe something that you don't want to do. And instead of doing what you want to do, your time is so limited because let's say that you get eight hours of sleep. Let's say, so there's eight out of your 24 hours and then the other eight hours or nine or 10, you're working doing a job you don't want to do. And then whatever's left over, you know, you, you're coming home, you're eating, you're, let's say if you're a little older in life, you're, you're taking care of your kids you know, you're hanging out with your spouse, your girlfriend, and then the little time that's left in your day, you might have an opportunity to do what you want. In my case, it's playing video games with friends. It, it's been like that for a long time. And uh, in a lot of cases, people will uh, <laughs> sacrifice their sleep, which is my case, and and sacrifice my sleep because that's the only time I get to play video games is, you know, when the family's asleep. So I'm sure there's plenty of other people out here who, who are like this. Um, unfortunately, you know, time's going to pass us by and one day we'll wake up and we're going to ask ourselves, what have I been doing for the past five years? What have I been doing for the past 10 years? You know, and you realize you've been working in a, a job, even if it's a good job, but it's a job that maybe you, you didn't want to do, you know, like maybe you felt like your time was better served, you know, doing something else that maybe you would like to do. And that's where, you know, taking a little bit of risk, you know, can actually Put you in a better spot than you are today, even if, you know, it requires you to feel uncomfortable. And so, that's just a little thought on my mind that I've been having. And not necessarily saying that I need to <laughs> quit my job or anything like that. But it's just one of those, one of those thoughts that just makes you really wonder what's going on in a lot of other people's heads and I have a feeling that there's a lot of like-minded people out there that are in a similar situation and I think uh, it's always good to talk about thoughts because there's so many thoughts that pop into my head that even even when they pop into my head I swear they're like gone within an hour or two you know or even minutes you know, sometimes it's such a good thought and then it just evaporates in my head and I don't know, <laughs> I, I didn't write it down and I'm like, damn, I wish I wrote it down. But I don't, I don't, you know, bring them up and then they never get discussed and then, 
it just goes away like a fart in the wind you know and so yeah I was just I was thinking about that and I was thinking about like all the time that you spend you know let's say let's say you're 26 years old and uh all you've done is you've you've gotten a degree maybe you didn't get a degree maybe you just started going to work and you've been working for a few years maybe you're even living with your parents and and then you just you're working and then you're playing video games maybe you're not even working and you're just playing video games all day and i know i know plenty of people like this and um I just feel like one day they're going to wake up and they're going to be like, man, now I'm 29 years old and I've just been playing video games like day in and day out. My parents have been paying my, you know, obviously taking care of the food and the, you know, the rent and, or, you know, they're living in their parents paid for house or whatever the case may be. And another 29 and and they haven't done anything to make themselves marketable for a job or they haven't been trying to like grow a YouTube channel. You know, like that was a big thing with me is when, you know, 10 years ago, like how many times can I say 10, 15 years ago, I could have been making a YouTube channel and just doing what I've been doing this whole time and improving slightly with every video. And I feel like I, you know, I would have had just a lot of time in and I'm already playing games as, as it is, you know, but I understand that not everybody can, can make YouTube videos. And I think that everybody can, I just think that it's the difficult parts being consistent, but it was just a thought that I was having today. And, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys have any thoughts on, you know, like, have you ever woken up one day and just thought, man, what have I been doing for the past five years? Like, I've been in the same job, haven't even thought about progressing in my in my job or my career, haven't applied for that new job or the management position, or, you know, haven't, haven't thought about what the future lies. You know, like, they always ask you at your job, they're like, you know, what's your five-year plan? What's your 10-year plan? And you just think to yourself, you're like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in five years. I might not even like this job enough to be here for five years. You know, if you even have a job, you know, some like a lot of people don't even have jobs at this point. But in five years, I mean, I don't I don't know if most people even know what they want to be doing in five years. It's kind of a difficult question. But. I mean, I know what I'd like to be doing in five years, or at least I know what I'm going to be doing in five years is I'm probably going to be continuing to play video games because that's what I grew up with. And I've done that for, you know, as long as I can remember. So <laughs> I think maybe the game will change here and there. I'll be playing something more so than playing other games, but I'll be playing a, a variety of games and I'll have one or two that I've primarily focused on and. And I'll just continue to grind and play with friends and and we'll go from there. But anyways, thanks y'all for stopping by and listening. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you. And, you know, consider uh, liking and subscribing. And, uh, yeah, y'all take care.